So I stand here as a representative of a field called aging science, longevity science. Some people call it anti-aging. We don't use that as scientists. But what has happened in the last 25 years is nothing short of revolutionary. And thank goodness I come from Harvard Medical School, or what I'm going to tell you tonight you would find extremely difficult to believe is true. But those of us who were born in the 1960s, like I was, 1970s, 80s, will benefit from this real major advance that I'm going to tell you about today. And in my teens, late teens in college, I thought, well, there's this thing that happens to everybody called aging, and it's 90% of all the, the sickness and suffering in the world, but no one seems to care about it. You go to your doctor and they say, yeah, that's normal. You're old, you should be getting sick. And I said, that's not right. At any age, we should apply the same technology, the same effort to make people live as long as they possibly can. We, sh we, we fought against cancer, we fought against heart disease, we fought against, we're fighting against Alzheimer's disease. What about aging? And I refuse to believe that just because this is natural and common, that we should regard it as something different from a disease. In my view, in my world, aging is a medical condition. We're at a turning point in human history, as important as flight and Silicon Valley and energy and crypto. The 22nd century is going to be about biology and the ability to control your, your age and the rate of aging and slow down not just body aging and heart aging but even brain aging with these tools and age reversal tools that are just coming along will radically change the arc of our lives in a way that we can barely even imagine. And when we can reset our age by a couple of years, which has now been published, that's been done by Greg Fahey and colleagues, if we do that every year, even just set your age back one year every year, what happens, right? Things then get really interesting. And that's the world that we have to stay alive to be able to witness. And if we all do the right things, we will witness that.